Rolling. 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 Clap. Hello and welcome. Today, Gerald and I start our journey as we take the first steps towards a healthier lifestyle. But we're not going to do this alone. Help is on the way. And if you feel like embarking on a healthier lifestyle, please feel free to join us. We really want you to walk this walk with us. And today, we'll start off by showing you how to make a healthy breakfast. I'm going to jump into new skies. And Suan is going to plunge into the depths of our new mindset. I'm Gerald Schreiner. Hi Gerald, I'm Helen. How are nice, you? Nice to meet you. Nice. How are you doing today? I'm well, thank you. Good. <laughs> Very good. So, um, yeah, I'm here on a bit of a mission. I'm uh, doing a major lifestyle change. Or okay. In fact, I've actually started already a major lifestyle change. Okay. And um, I guess I just wanted to get some pointers, um, but also just to see really if I'm on the right track. What um, what are you, your goals? What are you... Well, I mean, I think, you know, because it's a lifestyle change, there's a lot that um, I think needs to happen. <laughs> I think the most important thing probably is weight loss, but also general health in terms of, you know, maintenance and keeping your body kind of fit and mobile. So it's, it's, it's a whole lifestyle change. Okay, brilliant. The lifestyle changes I've uh, quit drinking because the drinking probably has been my biggest downfall. You know, I've got a large capacity for alcohol, <laughs> unfortunately. And uh, um, it's not just one bottle, it's two bottles. And sometimes if the night is merry, it's three bottles. Anything else that you're going to be targeting? Smoking? I am a smoker. Okay. I am a smoker. So <laughs> it's funny because I actually hadn't really thought about that as part of the lifestyle change, but that. Okay. Yeah. It's probably a big thing when you are making a, a proper lifestyle change and are being really committed to it. Okay. So I've lost so far 25 kilos. Just okay, to, brilliant. Congratulations. Um, thank you. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. What triggered the whole decision? I think something that probably a pivotal point for me was last year. I was traveling and I probably got to the heaviest. I was nearly 200 kilograms. Okay. The biggest sort of um, eye-opener for me was when I saw a picture of myself together with a friend who lives in New York. Mm -hmm. And uh, I absolutely looked just rotundly grotesque around him. And uh, I really just thought I wanted to make changes. And I started that process, um, as I said, about five, six months ago. Brilliant. And are you exercising or anything at the moment? I am. I'm not doing as much exercise as, I, as I'd like to. Um, but I quite enjoy exercise. Okay, well, that's good. So I would like to, you know, get onto quite a, a budget strict <laughs> training program because I really want to see. Um, some results and quite quick results would be good for okay. my headspace yeah okay. okay well that's that's good to know what your goals okay. are because that's where one can work from okay, okay. Good. so you're training with a personal trainer what yes. sort of things are you doing in the gym my biggest challenge i think has been ab, the ab exercises because my ab by the, my course isn't is not strong at all it would really be negligent of us not to get you properly assessed before okay. you you start and i mean you you're pushing it you're doing boxing you're doing yeah, quite yeah. high cardio output things okay. that you're stressing yourself, you're stressing your heart, you're stressing your system, which is brilliant because you're going to be improving your health, but we need to just make sure that um, everything is safe to do that in. Sometimes you, you try things and then you kind of, you know, give up. So it, uh, uh, it would be nice to really, you know, have all avenues covered so that you are, so that it is kind of a a full package and not a half package deal. Not everyone is the same and all our health risks and our, um, our bodies are different. So if one is embarking on a, a lifestyle change, in particular exercise, it really is important to, to be seen by a medical professional um, and at least have um, weights done, bloods done and your risk factors identified. I think that a lot of people go out and exercise, get quite motivated to do something, don't get um, professional input, not only from doctors but um, by kineticists or dietitians, and they lose motivation because they end up injuring themselves or having a medical event um, and therefore can't continue on their journey of, of road to health. So I really think it is important for everyone to be assessed and rather being given the go ahead. Um, and that's yeah, part of the recipe of success, I would imagine. So Suan, I've decided um, to draw you up a little challenge and uh, I really hope you enjoy it. 
Thank you. I'm a little bit nervous. Maybe I should open mine first. Yes, I think you should open and read it. So if it's bad, I can read change it. Read it and weep. <laughs> Dear Sue Anne, that's very sweet of you. <laughs> I've already learnt that getting in shape is not only a matter of fitness and food, but most of all, it's a switch you have to make in your head. Having you on my side gives me the courage to overcome my fears and doubts that previously prevented me from making the switch. Oh. Mm. I am grateful to gain this courage from you and hope that I too can give you courage on our journey together. I will be there when you hit the ground. <laughs> After your skydive. <laughs> Good luck, Gerald. So, are you ready? No, you're kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I really thought it would be quite an apt way to start the program. No. I'm just going to put this away and pretend it didn't, <laughs> didn't happen. I don't think you Thank can live you up to you. that. <laughs> okay, while I process this. Okay. This is for you. Okay. It's the whole page. I only wrote like half the page. Dear Gerald, I'm so glad we're doing this together. Today marks the first of many steps toward healthier and happier lives for the both of us. Your challenge is to complete 50 push-ups. What? <laughs> 50 push-ups? I can hardly do 10. <laughs> you may share those with anyone around you willing to donate his or her strength. After that, make your way to the Wellness Warehouse in Cliff Street. Head upstairs um, in the Wellness Warehouse, straight ahead of the cafe area. You'll find a touchscreen display, your instructions, and the next challenge will be there. P.S. You better get started because you have 60 minutes counting from now. Wow. Okay, <laughs> so where do I do the 50 push-ups? Push-up, buddy, there's a floor right here. <laughs> no, are you serious? Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> I can't do 50 push-ups. <laughs> no, you've really got to start. I'm being dead serious. Okay. Seriously? Yes. So, well, I can't do 50 push-ups. Drop that button, engage yeah, your I core. Can't. No, I'm kidding. Okay, here we go. <laughs> hey, you're totally wasting energy. Uh, One, <laughs> two, <laughs> four. <laughs> <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You Who really, can help you me? really can't oh, find people we to need, help can you. Can some help you? <laughs> I need somebody to help me. Okay. Excuse the young man. Can you do push-ups? I can't. Seriously. He's on a very serious journey. Ten. He just needs some help. Go, I need help. Just I love you. No, you've got to do them. No, you've them. got to do them. You're how donating many? your strengths to him. Just do how many you can. I'll tell you one. Oh, I'm just... Whoa! <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> Nine. Gerald. Thirteen. You're not going to get anywhere if you're not doing 18, some of the... Eighteen. Nineteen. I can't believe you made it. Twenty. We're thirty down. Okay, who's got ten more? That was way We're thirty easy. down. You can do twenty push-ups for me. Oh. I can't do fifty push-ups. Just did ten. Gerald, there is an element of seriousness to this. I'm okay. still processing well, can that I, can, challenge. Can another I do, ten, at least another can ten push-ups. Can I do? Because you know what? You know how I'm gonna relish in this. There we go. There's a man who's gonna help us. I need you some see, help it wasn't that hard. Perfection. <laughs> I'm going to relish in seeing you sweat today, OK? You know, it's such a funny thing. Like, I'm not really happy about this challenge, but I also know what kind of waits for me on the other end of this challenge, if that makes sense. I would never willingly choose to do this. <sighs> Why am I so, so scared of everything, you know? like. Why am I scared to go diving with friends when they all dive? Why am I the one scared to jump out of an airplane? Why am I scared to cross open expanses of water? I think maybe I'm a little bit scared of kind of... Yeah, letting go of a lot of stuff. And I think, you know, when you skydive, you kind of have to let go of everything. You can't go up in one of those, eh?
if something happens to you, you're screwed. You cannot claim for anything. In short. Keeping your hands on the harness here. Okay. So when we leave the plane, we've got this banana shape. Okay. So like this with me. And you bring your hands out to the side, all the way out. Remember, head back. There we go. And big smile on your face. Wave to the camera. All right. When, just before I open the parachute, you can get a tap on the arm again. Put your hands back onto the harness. While the parachute's opening, you can just keep your hands here for me. All right. Okay. Don't grab my hands, I need them. Okay. All right. <laughs> grab my hands is bad. I just want everyone to know that this is completely against my will. <laughs> That's enough for that challenge for now. Yep, we'll pick up on that later and on to a little bit more long-term challenges for now. Because looking up here, I certainly don't think I can get up there as we stand today. So I think there's a lot of hard work and changes that are going to need to be made. <laughs> but I think we can do it, so... Absolutely, I think long -term we can do goal. it. Long-term goal? Long-term goal would be to get right to the top. Let's do it. it should be a breeze. So, you say? So when we're done with those treacherous steps, our next action is going to be Table Mountain. What do you mean Skeleton Gorge? Skeleton Gorge, <laughs> you know why they call it Skeleton Gorge? It's because they've actually found skeletons there. Yeah, skeletons are skinny. <laughs> so, and whatever. dead. <laughs> How are we going to do that? By taking care of our bodies yep. through lots of gym. The setting of challenges. Yep. Support and inspiration, yep. and of course, healthy eating. I'll be okay with that for a while. Because it's a lifestyle change, there's a lot that um, I think needs to happen. Your challenge is to complete 50 push-ups. What? I can't do 50 push-ups. I just want everyone to know that this is completely against my will. <laughs> so I'm off to the wellness warehouse for the next part of my challenge, which... Um, I don't know if you remember, but I still only had 60 minutes uh, to complete. How much time do I have left, by the way? Am I good for time? Is that 50 minutes or something? Oh, good, okay, cool. So Anne's on the way to the airstrip uh, to complete her, um, her challenge, which I gave her for uh, skydiving um, earlier today. I'm quite sure she's very nervous and probably at this stage um, ready to puke. But this is happening anyway and when it's done, there's gonna be nothing that I can't do. So I'm just gonna focus on that a little bit over there. There was a reason I was listening to that, don't you worry, don't you worry, child, this morning, and I didn't even know. Overcoming your fear. Three words. As ready as I'll ever be. Stairs to the wellness warehouse. To what? The wellness warehouse. Right here. It's upstairs. Right here. Up here. Okay. Up the escalators. We've entered the lifestyle um, lifestyle center where the wellness warehouse is located, um, and I have to find my way to the pharmacy. I think it is um, where the uh, digital screen is located, with the clue to the next challenge. Oh, there. I think this is the screen we were looking for. So I'm looking under. This is like hide and seek, people. This is not right. Oh, I think I found what I was looking for. It was hidden, hidden in there all along. <laughs> so uh, let's see what the lovely Sawan has in store for me. So to find clues one, two, four, five, and six, fill in the missing link. Greater your chances are of clue four before you get clue six. Okay, so clue one is diet and fitness. Yeah. And then I guess the next picture, weight loss advice. How do I choose the best diet? Okay, and that was it. So we've got how do I choose the best diet? Choosing the diet that will work for you by Kathleen Finn. So I'm going to start with clue four, because the greater, greater your chances are of, and it's got to be there somewhere, greater the chances are of reaching your weight loss goal. Gerald, you're only supposed to find one word. Reaching. 
Okay. My handwriting is quite abominable too. <laughs> okay, before you, so clue six. Before you jump, clue five, set yourself, oh, set yourself up for success. Oh God, I've got to jump up somewhere, it seems. <laughs> this is absolutely scary. Sustain your energy. Do you travel extensively for work? So there's going to be travel involved here as well. Oh my God, my stomach is absolutely turning people. Eat on the road, there we go. So it wasn't eat on the go after all, <laughs> because I eat on the go a lot. Take the number on the lower left logo and multiply that by two. So that's seven, so 14. So travel down the road to number 14 and reaching up will be the way to find your next letter. And the hint is six. The question is, travel down the road to number 14. Where is that? <laughs> yeah, I guess let's head out. Rolling. Rolling. Clap. This show is really about us changing our lives, about making healthy lifestyle changes and setting ourselves goals which we can achieve. But most of all, it's about us supporting each other every step of the way. But we would also really like this to be an interactive platform. We would like everybody to get involved on every level. We'd like you to do this across all social media platforms. Our website also will be available for viewing. All recipes are available for viewing on the website. Um, all of our challenges will be available in a downloadable mobile app format. Um, in fact, there's lots of, lots of opportunities for you to get involved, so please get involved. We'd really like you to walk this journey with us, and we'll keep you posted every step of the way. We've lost a lot of time. <laughs> We're trying to figure out Suan's very, very confusing clues and her very bad handwriting. Uh, but we're heading off to number 14. Um, I guess I have to run down there. <laughs> Do you know how much time we've got left? Enough? We've got about 15 minutes. Oh, God, okay. Number 14, there's, there's no buildings for numbers. This can't be it. No. It's none of these stores. Gosh, people, this is only number 32. <laughs> I'm. Uh, Trying to figure out where number 14 is. It's quite a mission down this hill as well. Number 24, we're nearly there. Okay, 18, we've got two more to go. 14 ought to be around here somewhere, but this is a, an office building. Oh, this is number 14. Shit. Okay, so it says travel down the road to number 14. And reaching up will be the way to find your next letter, which was number six, which says jump. So I've got to probably, sorry. Is it inside? Oh, you don't know anything about a letter I'm supposed to be finding. <laughs> it must be outside somewhere. It says jump, so. Oh, th <laughs> there we are. There we are, and oh, ah! <laughs> there we go, got it. So, I'm absolutely sweating, people. Having set your sights high, it's time to get back on your feet and move quickly to Long Street, as your next destination promises a healthy snack. Yay! And you want to have time to enjoy it. Keep walking down Long Street until you get to Masala Dosa restaurant. There you will enjoy your treat. Well, that sounds fantastic. Pretty much rushing down Long Street as people are starting to leave their offices, as I said earlier. I'm gonna start running. Hey? I don't know about running, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Should probably wait at the Red Rover. That would be the responsible thing to do. How far down to Pasala Dosa? Do we know? We just have to go until we see it. It's less, less on the left-hand side, right? Right-hand side. Right -hand side, okay. Hey, how are you? Very good, thank you. Cool. <laughs> I can't really chat now. <laughs> I'll, chat, I'll chat to you later. Cheers. Okay, let's run. Maybe I can stop for a mojito here. I'm not sure how much further I really feel we should have been there already. Excuse me. Sorry. Okay, I think we should be, be there soon. Might be another block or so. 
But it's certainly nice to be walking down Long Street for a change. I haven't walked down the street for a while. Oh, I thought that was it. No, it's not. I think we're there. We're nearly there. I seriously didn't realize it was this far down Long Street. We've arrived at the Salad Dosa. Hi, Armin. How are you? Perfect timing. Right, what have you got for us? I've got for you a really wonderful selection of ingredients okay. with really exotic flavors. Oh, cool. OK. Um, I call this the Oriental Salad, which is very popular in my restaurant. Nice. And I'm going to share the recipe with you. Perfect. And I'll show you just how wonderful and easy and healthy it is. And is this good to make at home? I mean, the ingredients Absolutely. are readily available. Absolutely. So we're going to put two tablespoons of soy. Okay, and is that low sodium or is it just normal? That's low sodium, okay. absolutely. And then also dilute it a little bit with some water. So I've put two tablespoons of water. Just a tablespoon of sunflower oil. Okay. And just a drop of sesame oil, which will give it a nice, rich, uh, deep flavor. Oh, that flavor. sounds lovely, yeah. So to that, we're going to add a tablespoon of ginger. Okay. And just one little clove of garlic. Oh, last ingredient. We want to offset all these flavors with a bit of sweetness. Okay. So I've got here xylitol, okay. which you can be quite generous with as okay, well. Okay, cool, yeah. Uh, we're going to put a whole tablespoon of that xylitol. That looks like real sugar. It does, but <laughs> it's basically 33% less of the sugar content. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Cool. It's extracted from all the fibers of vegetables, okay. um, Fruit even juice, mushrooms, it, yeah. uh, oh, really? and birch. And what you get is a really natural sweetness okay. that is very, very healthy. That's amazing, yeah. So just a little oh, shake, and you can even just smell it. And already oh, that's lots of lovely absolutely divine, fresh really. flavors. It's beautiful. Um, and then all we're going to do is toss some very lean chicken breast. OK. This is, has been boiled and shredded. OK. And then we can't do without a little bit of carbohydrate just yes, to make course. Uh, you're very happy. Yeah. And are these any specific type of noodles? They look like turmeric noodles. Yeah, yeah, they are the Just instant noodles. Like oh, that's, yeah, that's instant cool. Noodles. Okay, yeah. Lastly, a sprinkle of sesame and some cashew nut. Sure. And to that, we add our dressing. And as you can see, the, most oh, of the wow. content is your carrots, your yeah. cabbage. It's full of antioxidants. It's full of uh, vitamin C, vitamin A from the carrots. I'm absolutely going to have a taste, Amit. So are you? Absolutely, okay. totally. Oh, pop, pop, pop. No. Before you get a taste, there's a challenge from Sue Ann. Oh, no. Yeah. Sue Ann has had a trick up her sleeve all day. <laughs> absolutely. And the trick for now yeah. is to sing Lean on Me. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. I've been waiting okay, I'm gonna sing a little very bit anxiously of it. to hear that. <laughs> Lean on me when you're not strong, because I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on, because it won't be long till I'm going to need somebody to lean on. I hope that's enough. <laughs> I have to go and meet Sue Ann because I want to make sure that she really, really, really does get off that plane. In fact, that she actually did jump out of the plane, okay, to be honest good. with you. Here's how the challenge continues. Well done, darling, really. That was I do actually want to cry, but not because I'm sad. Really? Because it was, it's, it's such a big thing. Well, you're a bigger woman than me, I can tell you that. To be that scared. I and have to, to tell you I that I don't think I'm able to do that. There's a moment where you just, like I was saying to him now, like you just have to let go. Like, yeah. But like literally let go. Yeah. Did you feel like dying up there? I think it, like, you know, you open, he opens the door and then you feel this wind, and, but you know there's no turning back. Yeah. And that it's somebody helping you by just by giving you a little bit of a push. What did he push? And there's a moment where I just I closed my eyes and I thought, okay, that's the end of the world. Oh, that's too funny. Fine. Well, well done. And I'm well, very that... sorry about that challenge, but 
<laughs> I'm very glad you've overcome it. You really have done much better than me today, I have to say. And um, I want to cry. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> that yeah. really amazing. I think that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, it's a very big deal. And I, I just need to now like, snoop a little bit more to find out your other secrets. I have Obviously, one thing to tell you though. Fears. I have one thing to tell you and okay. it's a motivation for you. Okay. So the weight restriction up on the plane is 105 Ks. Oh really? Okay, so that's gonna be a nice motivation for me. When you get there, we can do it. You're getting on the plane yeah. and I'll jump with you. Fantastic. Again. Yeah, you could be my tandem person. <laughs> okay, take it one step at a time. Let me just revel in this weird feeling I'm feeling at the moment. Oh really? As if are you full pump still pumping with adrenaline then? No. Okay. How was yours? It was not what I expected, but <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> I must say, it was fun. Yeah, to, but yeah, to say the least. It was tough, and we did it. Yeah, we did it. You know that that's that's what it's about. We'd like to thank you for watching. And we really would like you to join us. If you're going to be joining us in this challenge, please feel free to share your stories with us. And next time, we'll be hearing Gerald on your favorite radio station. Until then, goodbye. goodbye. So I get a good feeling, yeah.